It's Friday the 13th, and the Rockies are hoping to put a little scare into the playoff hopes of the Cubs. The Rockies will get Austin Gomber back from paternity leave after the birth of his daughter. And for uh, the left-hander, he may be as consistent as any Rockies starting pitcher this year. Low and outside, ball four to Ian Happ. Dansby, the numbers continue to climb in the right direction. That's drilled out towards right center field. That's going to find space. Happ is on the go. Ian racing for third. Willie Harris will hold him right there. It's a double for Dansby Swanson. And the Cubs are in business. Second and third and nobody out. One down. Cody Bellinger coming up. Cubs looking to strike quickly. On the ground up the middle. And that's a base hit. And that is going to score two. Belly delivers with runners in scoring position. And the Cubs on top. It is two to nothing. The Cubs have played good baseball on the road. That is for sure. One of the things they've done all season long, they've gotten good starting pitching. Tonight, it is Javier Assad on the mound and did a solid job his last time out. He knows how to pitch. He, he, he just takes the mound tonight with that extra day's rest. And, you know, he's got to be good tonight. Left field, Ian Happ is there to pull it down. <laughs> Ezekiel Tovar, the batter. And he will chase, and he did right there. That's a strikeout. Tovar is gone, and there's two away. Two down now, and here's Brenton Doyle. Hits it on the ground to short. Swanson handles the chance at a seven-pitch inning for Javier Assad. The Rockies go one, two, three. The Cubs lead, end of one. Ryan McMahon, the cleanup man for the Rockies, will lead off. McMahon, Rogers, and Tolia. The pitch to McMahon at the middle. That's in the right center field. It's a base hit. Diving attempt made by Horner, the second baseman. He couldn't get it. The leadoff man's aboard for the Rockies. There's their first hit. Nobody out. Brendan Rodgers, the hitter. And a great hitter at home this year. And a struggle on the road has Rodgers. That's a fair ball. It's down the third base line for Rodgers. Digging towards third. McMahon, he's going to get a green light. And the relay throw. Not going to get it. Run scoring double. Brendan Rodgers. And the Rockies are within a run. Nobody out. Michael Tolia is the hitter. Rodgers at second. That one hit. Out of bounce. Flag down. Swanson spins around, throws him out, and there's one away. What a play. One of those do or die plays with great hand eye coordination. He made the pick and then made the throw to get him. Great play. So two outs. Let's see if maybe Hunter Goodman can pick up. Rodgers, who's at second base, drove in that run with his double. And that's hit to left field. Did he get enough of it? Hat moving back to the wall, and it's gone. He did get enough of it. Hunter Goodman with a two-run home run, and the Rockies here in the second inning have taken the lead. Three to two, Colorado. Michael Bush first up for the Cubs here in the fourth inning. Demolish. That one ripped to right, and it'll touch down for a hit. Bush takes a turn. He'll hang on at first. And a good at bat for Michael Bush. Leadoff man is aboard. Let's see if that leads to bigger and better things. It might. A base hit to left center by Horner. Stopping at second is Bush. Back to back singles have begun the fourth inning. And now Pete Crow Armstrong making his way to the plate. And with Bush at second, Horner at first. 3 2 Rockies in the fourth. Pitch swing and a miss. Breaking balls in the first strikeout. That was a fastball by Austin Gomber. Here is Miguel Amaya. Pitch is a bouncing ball to third. McMahon to second for one. Rogers to first for the double play. When he needed a ground ball, Austin Gomber got it. Two down. Safe at second and a steal there from Tolly. Hunter Goodman trying to come through here with two outs. And a base hit to left. Tolly around. Third. He's coming home, throwing that direction is not going to get him. Goodman is second. He's safe there. What a night for Hunter Goodman. The three RBI night makes it four to Rockies. Two out singles, says Suzuki. So Cody Bellinger, who's singled to knock in the two Cub runs and then fly to deep center his last time up. Taking a look at Suzuki. Gomber comes to the plate and it's a high fly ball to shallow right. Beck coming on. Jordan gets underneath it. Makes the catch. And that's four straight scoreless innings for Austin Gomber. And the first hitter that Austin Gomber sees, Isak Paredes. Little 
Roller up the middle, and it gets <laughs> through. Wow. Paredes bounces one up the middle. It sneaks into center field between Tovar and Rogers. It's a leadoff single, and here's Michael Bush. One and two. On the ground, through the right side base hit. Michael Bush hanging in there indeed. He was able to get enough of that slider, and now there are two on and nobody out. One, two. Center field, Doyle coming on. Hill arrived, one out. Pete Crow Armstrong, who was struck out twice against Austin Gomber tonight. Pitch she is hit into right center field. Doyle moving over. Doyle's going to get to this as well. See if the runners tag. They will not. He catches, fires back in, out number two. And the pitch. And hit into right field. That should be playable for Beck. Comes on and makes the catch. Just like in the fourth inning, first and second, nobody out, and Gomber gets out of the inning. Back-to-back -back walks issued by Assad here in the sixth inning, and the Rockies have first and second, and nobody out. And now Nolan Jones, a hitter for the Rockies. On the ground to the right side, Horner up with it. To second for one, return to first, two! Just what they needed, and quickly two down with a man at third. He hits a fly ball to center, deep. Back goes Crow Armstrong near the warning track, makes the catch. Inning over. No runs for Colorado. We That's going to be a base hit. Let's see if that starts a one out rally here in the seventh inning. Plenty of Cub fans here. They'd love to see it. Say a Suzuki now, the DH, the pitch, and a ground ball right to the shortstop. Tobar flips to second for one. Rogers on to first. It's a double play. Jaden Hill walks off the mound, fist in the air. No damage done by the Cubs in the seventh inning. Two outs, both on fly ball outs to center. And we'll see if Ezekiel Tovar might be able to keep this inning going. Tip to right field, that's pretty well struck. Bellinger going back to the wall. Into the Rockies bullpen, a home run for Tovar. Hit it well, and the wind pushed a little bit, just enough to get it over that high wall. The Rockies tack on. Five to two, Rockies over the Cubs. Two men on, nobody out. Plenty of Cub fans here ready to make a lot of noise. Michael Bush, he has two singles on the night. You can hear the Cub fans trying to lend every ounce of support to their beloved Cubs. In the air, right field, and you can forget it. Michael Bush unloads, and we're starting over. 5-5, five, five. he hammered it. And now the Cub fans giving a standing ovation. I guarantee you everybody in that Cubs dugout, when they did the seventh inning stretch, they heard three-fourths of this ballpark yell for the Cubbies. Bags are loaded with one away. Hunter Goodman is due up. He's already had a big night, a two-run homer and a run-scoring single. And Hunter drives it to left. It has a chance. Touch of all time. The Grand Tour, Hunter Goodman, a seven RBI night. And the Rockies lead it nine to five. So each team with a dramatic home run in the inning. Wasn't a blown save tonight, but it was certainly a blown opportunity. You just don't expect the number eight batter in the order to drive in seven runs in a big league game. Two down with the Rockies trying to open the homestand and end a losing streak against the Cubs. 3-2. Pop up. Shallow center. Going out, Brendan Rodgers, and he got it. And that's the ball game. Seven RBIs from Hunter Goodman. And the Rockies open up the homestand with a 9-5 win over the Chicago Cubs.